Hi, I'm Harry. You're watching MHZ Worldview. Here are the top three countries you ought to know about this week. First off is Suriname, a country located in South America with a population of roughly 480,000. Its capital city is Paramaribo. About 80% of the country is heavily forested, and most of the population lives on the northern coast. First colonized by the English in the 17th century, and later by Dutch settlers, Suriname ultimately gained independence in 1975. Dutch is the official language, making Suriname one of the four non-Spanish-speaking countries in South America. Although it has the smallest population in South America, it is one of the most ethnically diverse countries in the world. Next up is Bulgaria, a Balkan nation located in southeastern Europe. Bulgaria has a population of 7.2 million, and its capital is Sofia. Two-thirds of the country's landscape is made up of rolling plains, and the southwest is largely mountainous. Bulgaria is named after the Bulgars, a Central Asian tribe who migrated to the Balkans in the 7th century and gradually intermixed with the local Slav population. The Cyrillic alphabet, the second most widely used alphabet in the world, was first introduced in Bulgaria during the 10th century. Bulgaria became a Soviet Socialist Republic after World War II, but in 1990 it transitioned into a free market democracy, and in the last four years it has joined NATO and the European Union. And our last country this week is Sri Lanka, an island nation located roughly 20 miles off the southern coast of India. The country has a population of 21 million, and its capital is Colombo. Sri Lanka is a tropical and relatively flat country. However, it has mountains in the south-central region. The country is home to two primary ethnic groups, the Sinhalese and the Tamil, each with their own distinctive language. Sri Lanka's population is mostly Buddhist, but there are significant Muslim, Hindu, and Christian communities as well. It is worth noting that in 1960, Mrs. Sirimaiva Bandarniki, the former Sri Lankan Prime Minister, became the world's first female head of state. And there you have the three countries for this week. Stay tuned to MHC Worldview.